What's up guys? Today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how you can better study for your exams. I'm going to go ahead and gather all of my materials and then we're going to head up to the office. that this apartment has an elevator. It's slow though, so it doesn't do much. What's up guys? We're here in the office, and like I said, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks that I use to better my studying for an exam. Okay, so let's do it. My number one tip when you are studying, when you are trying to prepare for an exam, what you do is you always need to make sure that you have some sort of schedule. Okay, today's Tuesday. I'm gonna be studying for this exam for two hours today, so I'll go ahead And I'll set a time <laughs> and I will study for the allotted amount of time that I tell myself I'm going to study for because then I'm consistent with myself. So that's the first tip. Number two, I love to have music. I'll play music while I'm studying just to help me to um, just to relax, to calm myself down and I find that when I'm relaxed and calmed down I can focus better on the things that I'm learning. Uh, sometimes I'll listen to music, sometimes I'll just listen to the sound of the ocean on some sort of app. So uh, yeah, number two is music. So number three, and probably one of the most important tips and tricks, is when you're studying, you need to have snacks. So I have a Cliff Bar, I have some Cheetos, and also I have some water. If I am hungry, or if I'm thirsty, you better believe I'm not going to be able to focus. And you might not be able to either. So, snacks and drinks. Okay, so um, tip number four. I, when I am studying, like to have breaks. If I don't give myself breaks while I'm studying, I just cram it all into my brain and it hurts. And I get headaches and I get ticked. And I usually plan these breaks in my schedule. Um, so maybe I'll take 10 minutes to solve a Rubik's Cube. Maybe I'll take 15 minutes to read a different book. Maybe I will just play a game on my app. Uh, these are really good things to do to uh, give your brain a rest and then you can continue studying. And then also make sure that you have all of your notes. Make sure that you have your textbook or maybe any other resources that you will need to study for the exam. Okay, and last but not least, have a whiteboard. It helps me because if I need to do practice problems, it's a lot easier to write them down on a whiteboard than it is to go and find a bunch of paper. I also like to be able to draw pictures in different colors, and so a whiteboard is just a great thing that I use, yeah. So let's do it. Let's jump right in.
Okay, so that is past my time limit. I set a time limit for myself to study for two hours. It's been two hours and 10 minutes now. I'm gonna go home, probably hang out with my wife for a little bit, and then head to bed. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my tips and tricks. These things really helped me. Uh, remember, don't just cram last second, stick to a schedule. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.